Welcome to RP Guru Tech Talk, the ultimate destination for all things tech. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started, join the community of tech enthusiasts and start learning today with us. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. So one thing to remember before we start uh, building our uh, YouTube channel banner is there are different sizes that can be displayed on um, different uh, devices. Like for example, your phone size, uh, the default is 1546 by 423. Uh, that that particular size, the one here, can if if I build something for this size, it will display on all the devices here. I mean, it will not be hidden or not be um, not invisible on any of these devices. But if I build something for a TV, it may not show correctly on all the other devices. So the goal of my demo or step-by-step -step instructions today is to create a banner which is uh, more relevant to a mobile size, which is basically uh, an area that can be, that will be displayed on every type of devices. So let's take, let's look at the one I had already created for my channel. So if you see here, uh, the banner here is actually uh, created for a mobile device. And so now you see there is space here and space here that could still be used. But if I start filling this spaces here in the banner, this will not show up in my mobile device. For example, in my mobile device, I have um, taken a screenshot. If you see, uh, because I built the banner for the mobile device size, it's showing the full banner here. So, so let's start uh, creating a banner for, for a mobile device, and then I will show you uh, how to go about doing things. So I've logged into my uh, Canva, uh, where uh, I've used for my designs. So I'm going to look for uh, YouTube channel art. So I'm creating a brand new uh, bland screen to start from scratch. So it's opened up uh, uh, a screen for me. Now, the next steps are, I need to uh, put in a kind of a, a layout for the channel uh, banner in such a way that it shows me uh, what are the different sizes I can fill the area for? So let's go to do that. Let's do this. Let's go to the elements. And I pick a square. And now let's uh, put a different color for this. Maybe I'll put a blue. Um, so as I said, if you saw my uh, instructions here, it is uh, the, the mobile size is 1546 by 423 so let's create the make this uh, this uh, rectangle in such a way that it's uh, matching that size so it's pretty close and i'm going to make it 423 There you go. So I'm going to center it. I'm going to add one more square. And now for this one, what I'll do is I'll take, uh, I'll match it to the size of 1855 by 423. Before that, let me add a color. So we're looking at 1855, it's pretty close. So I have two squares. And uh, so now let's add the ruler for this. So I've created a ruler grid. Uh, I'm going to 
if I do that, uh, let me create this size first. Let's center this. So I have the uh, layout for my banner now, so I don't need these squares. I use these squares just for creating that those grid lines for the different sizes. So if you see here, this section here is going to be my mobile size banner. So now let's start adding uh, the content for this banner. So let me go to my approach. I'm going to add my logo so i'm trying to keep it within the mobile size let's add, add some text Change the text. And keep it within the mobile size. Looks good. Now I want to add my own picture. Uh, one of the things uh, about my picture is I, I have a good picture uh, which is um, which is having a background on it. Like I, I, I have a picture which is having a background. I don't want to add a background. I, I want to give a, a very 3D type of a picture which doesn't have a background. So I go to a website called remove.bg and upload my picture. And what it does is it's, it, it, it's, uh, it allow, it's a free website where you can actually remove the background of your picture. So it removed the background and I can download it. So I've already downloaded it uh, in my folder here. So I've called it, if you see here, this is the picture I have um, that the, it doesn't have the background. So I've already uploaded it to my, um, to my uh, Canva uploads. So let's go back to the uploads. I already have a picture. This, this looks better. So I'm gonna pull that picture over here. So let's see. Let's reduce the size to bring it within the mobile device. There you go. So I'm all set. So my banner is ready. So I can go to download. And, and uh, YouTube can accept both PNG and JPEG. So I will save it as a PNG. So it's downloading. So it's downloaded my um, file so I'm all set so now my banner is ready so basically I can go to my channel and open your channel customize channel and let's go to the branding and actually I've already added my banner to my channel so I if you want it if you made some changes you want to put a different banner you can click on change and it allows you to uh, pick a picture, the picture you just created and upload it here. So once you do that, it will go back. Um, if you go back to your channel, um, it will display on your uh, on your uh, uh, YouTube channel. So there you go. I mean, uh, you have a look, professional looking banner and it's all created uh, free of cost. You didn't spend a penny and that's about it. 
thank you for watching my channel please subscribe uh, look forward for more videos thank you